Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part 63 of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And the time has come for us to finally, finally, finally go to the final world of the game. The place where good old Ansem himself is pretty much hanging out because that place is full of darkness and we need to stop him once and for all. But before we get there, we have to go through one final gummy ship sequence because gummy ship sequence. And yeah, it's been a fun ride, folks. Um, I mean, uh, we're almost there. We're, we are almost done with this game. <laughs> it's been a long one, folks. Believe you and me. So yeah, I've pretty much done everything that I need to do in this game. I've I went through the tournaments, I've uh, beaten all the optional bosses, including the new one featuring the unknown. And all that's left is just to, well, go to the final world and beat the game. Now, I, I'll, I would like to point this out in case you uh, didn't uh, hear me last time. Um, I actually went here to the final world first, then I went and beat the unknown man, and then I went back to the final world to actually complete it properly. So, yeah. But notice that this gummy ship pathway is a bit more ominous because, well, we're heading into darkness, ladies and gentlemen. Darkness here, there, everywhere, and yeah. Now, you may have noticed that the uh, good old power meter, uh, the blue meter, I think, is actually bigger than it was... Uh, well, in previous uh, trips with using my gummy ship. Now, folks, I would like to say this right now. I did not, I repeat, I did not alter the gummy ship uh, in any way, shape, or form. I'm guessing that this is what happened when I got the reward from the puppies, uh, from the Dalmatians earlier. It automatically increased something of my ship because, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I was a little surprised that my blue meter got an increase, and, uh, he, he, I'm guessing it's the game's way of saying, oh, well done, you did this without upgrading your ship, here's your reward, a little upgrade to your ship. <sighs> the gummy ships. <sighs> I still like, uh, I like this, uh, gummy ship traveling music, um, I don't know which one's, uh, good, though, um, the first one had more of an upbeat, optimistic feeling. The second one, while still sort of optimistic, you could tell that things were getting serious. And this third one that's playing right now, oh, it's definitely serious. It means things are going down. And there it is, folks. The final world of the game. Kind of looks freaky, spooky, and not right. And that's because this world right here is actually made up of remains of destroyed worlds. You know, the worlds that were consumed by the Heartless, broken to pieces, and yeah. Oh, Top Gun. <laughs> that's the trophy you get when you uh, go through all the gummy ship pathways, by the way. <sighs> Man, we're almost there. So, folks, let's step out here and... Well, journey. Journey onward to this mysterious, creepy-looking void place. There we go. Thank you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final world of the game. Welcome to the end of the world. <laughs> Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Well, uh... This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. You know, for some reason, I trust Goofy's wisdom. Even though he's, uh... He's a simple guy, but um, sometimes his words make sense, you know, and sometimes the simple guy can see things in a different light, you know. Anyway, I got the trophy Storyteller for completing uh, the story portion of Jiminy's journal. 
Now that little jump cut you just saw right there, it, me it means that I went back to Hollow Bastion to fight the Unknown Man, and then I came back here after I have uh, healed up and stuff. Anyway, this first part of the end of the world contains, uh, well, it's basically Sora walking on this watery area. And occasionally these black energy balls will fall from the sky, and if Sora makes contact with one of them, he'll be thrusted into a, well, fight with some of the Heartless in the area. Known as, well, including Invisibles, Angel Stars, and Behemoths. Now see this little uh, thing right here? You think you would be able to open this little treasure chest right here, but you can't. It's like we were it's like we we've been thrusted into another dimension, you see. It's kind of weird, don't you think? Now, uh let's see here. The thing is, folks, about this uh world, this first part right here, there's there are actually invisible walls in the area, and in order to actually proceed, we have to actually follow a set path. If you pay attention to the rock formations right here, it pretty much points the direction you need to go to. So, like, if this rock's pointing down uh, to the lower left, I follow the rock down to the lower left, and, oh, oh, hello. Oh, goody, more fighting. High Invisibles, Dark Balls, how's it going? And I think I saw an Angel Star right there. I, I can't really tell. It's just, they they all start to look the same after who knows how long you've been fighting these guys. Uh, now, some of these treasure chests, as you just saw, they're booby trapped. When you open one, well, you get thrusted into another battle. So, yeah. <sighs> However, once you successfully complete the battle, you're brought back into this weird, the weird area, first area, and you get the reward that you would get when you uh, open the treasure chest in the first place. So yeah, just follow the pathway. You should be fine, really. Now this music right here, it really clearly defines this place. It's kind of out there, otherworldly, especially with the choirs and all that sort of thing. And it's definitely uh, lifted. It, it is definitely based off the opening uh, dive into the heart music from earlier. I mean, it, it also represents the otherworldly kind of place you see. Oh, yeah. Here's the Ark Behemoth, or Arch Behemoth. I don't know how it's pronounced properly, but... And, um... Uh, yeah, no change, really. Yeah, this guy is a separate entry in Gemini's enemy list journal, so... Why separate the behemoth into three different behemoths? Because, for all intents and purposes, in my eyes at least, they're, they're pretty much the same. Oh, sure, they have uh, some different uh, coating of paint, maybe a little different design here and there, but they're the same. So, game? Would you care to explain this? But the behemoths in this area are pretty much weaker than the behemoths that we've been fighting. Well, one, uh, they don't want the enemies too strong, you know, it'd be kind of hard. And two, I've been leveling up quite a bit ever since that, uh, well, ever since the Heartless got stronger themselves, so. Oh, hi, Angel Star, how's it going? You stand no chance against the mighty Sora and his crew, and his uh, crew, and his crew, the Fellowship of the Key. Uh, cannot open this chest until I get back into the other dimension or something. Come on, come on, there we go. Uh, the thing about these battles is you have to wait until you fade to black to come back here, and yeah. But at least in the, but at least for some reason you are thrusted forward in the. Uh, the pathway for some reason. Uh, thank you, Energy Ball. So, yeah. Just gonna make sure I adjust correctly, and there we go. Yeah, this place was made up of all the destroyed worlds. Um, you know, you figure with a place like this, you would see some recognizable um, things here and there. You know, a piece of a. Uh, um, like, for example, Simba. Simba's world was destroyed, right? You'd think you'd see a piece of, like, uh, Pride Rock or some other familiar Disney location that was destroyed. Um, maybe a piece from uh, uh, the Beast Castle or something, you know? Beast's world was destroyed, remember? And uh, Yeah, but maybe it's a good idea that they didn't show those things because... For those who love uh, Beauty and the Beast and The Lion King and those kind of films, seeing those in such a broken state would be kind of nightmare-inducing, especially kids who play this game. I mean, I know that children can tolerate uh, a number of things, but 
they have their limits, folks. They have limits. Alright. Here's our final two uh, pieces of rock on this um, weird-looking place right here. Let's open this guy right here. Ah, booby trap. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah. So satisfying killing these things in one hit. Oh, and to let you know, folks, I'm actually pretty close to maximum level in terms of, well, level, that is. Um, I'm almost at level 100, and... <sighs> and good thing I chose the Dusk method, because um, that means I level up quickly after I reach a certain point. Now, to get to this place, you have to go the opposite way from this little rock area right here. It's kind of hard, you see, because of the invisible walls and stuff, but eh, no problem. No problem at all. Ah, why do I even bother? I hope the reward's worth it. Uh, there we go. Got your review. Oh, and some regular old shadows, too. They definitely don't stand a chance against the mighty Sora. <laughs> oh, boy. Feel the power. Feel the power. There we go. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Come on. Fade to black. I want to move on. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. AP up. Yep. It was definitely worth it. I mean, I think I'll go ahead and equip it on Sora right now because, um, <laughs> yeah. And notice that I did not equip any things for uh, Donald and Goofy. I mean, they've reached the point in the game that items, um, you're just a little bit extra. I mean, certainly that will help you out when dip, when battles get more difficult, but when dealing against these uh, essentially common mooks, um, they're pretty much uh, beasts at this point. So I'm not going to equip them with potions or anything just yet. So, yeah. Oh, and we have to deal with one more of these dark energy ball thingies before we can... Oh, another behemoth. whoop de doo Ah... <sighs> You stand no chance against us. You stand no chance against the might of the Fellowship of the Key. Come on, guys. Ugh. 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 Oh, wow. Why does the horn have to be its only weakness? Ugh. But then, of course, it wouldn't be a giant move that can cause problems if it only if its weakness was everywhere so yeah uh, but that takes care of that so uh, let's collect all the rewards all the goodies and yep 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 all the magic balls all the money and all the health uh, thank you thank you you are totally worth getting all that stuff I like my rewards uh, decent Okay, that takes care of that, and we are now in some other place. Yeah, this place is pretty much Gummy Central, really. You can tell that there are a bunch of gummy pieces sticking out of the walls here, there, and everywhere, and, uh, yeah. Now, um, the thing about this area is that there are treasure chests, and they all contain gummy pieces. Which, in my opinion, I'm not going to get, because I got the complete set thanks to the Dalmatians, and I don't really need it. So all we have to do now is just float on downward to essentially a this uh, energy vortex light thing that's nearby. And there's a save point right there, which I will use and take a little break. So yeah, folks, um, and next time, part 64, we will dive even deeper into this world to hunt down Ansem and stop his uh, maniacal schemes once and for all. Go over here, there's the save point right there in that weird vortex, and yeah, folks, I'll see you next time.